Hey, YouTubers, uh, Nothing Else Matters, part one lesson. Um, if you want more parts of the song after you get this one down, go ahead and comment below and I'll put together a couple more videos. And if you like what you see here, please don't forget to click that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos. And here we go. All right, quick playthrough, show you what I'm going to teach and then we'll get right to the lesson. Okay, the first part to get down is just a picking pattern of the first the first couple bars. So it's going to involve the low E, the G, the B, and the high E strings. So if you're a beginner and you're tempted to do this, just don't dedicate fingers right now. Make sure you don't move on until you get that. I promise you'll thank me for it. So it just basically, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because it's easy to follow and tap. It's just, if you hear the song, you can, you can do it. It just takes practice. So E, G, B, high E. B, G, E, G, B, high E, B, G. Go through that three times, and then the fourth time, you stop on the B string. Just teach yourself to do that right away. Run through that a bunch of times till you have it down, and then move on to the next part. Okay, cool, so hopefully you got that first part down. Now, you go through that three times. On the fourth part, you come back down to the B string. And then you fret your 7th fret high E string, you pluck that note, and then you keep it down, and then you pluck high E and low E together. So it's, and then B, G, and then you're going to pluck the high E string again and pull off. So that whole little part was... So get that part and then move on to the next part. Next part is you're just going to come to the low E string and then G and then you're going to, I, I play with the, the two uh, thinnest strings together on the first one or two. I kind of mix it up a little bit. Sometimes I'll do more than that but you really don't need to so you can basically go and then low E, G high E so that's the next part we're gonna digest starts right here okay so best thing to probably do on this is just get this run down uh, so it's all on the high E string Starts on the 7th fret, you play it once, play the 8th fret, then you play the 7th fret again, so it's 7, 8, 7, but on the 3rd one, after you play the note, you're going to hammer on pull off of the 8th fret, so it's 8, 7, hammer on pull off. Okay, so get that, and then right after you do that hammer on pull off, you're going to slide to the fifth fret. Like so. Okay, so once you get that, you're going to play the seventh fret, then the fifth fret, but as you play that last fifth fret note, you slide it down. Just down to nothing. I don't I don't end, I just try to make it fade out. It's kind of what it sounds like to me on the record. And then you play one open E string. Low E. High E, I'm sorry. High E string. Okay. 
Okay, so get that down and then move on to the next part. Okay, hopefully you got that little run down on the high E string. After that, you're gonna play that last, the last note of that run is an open uh, high E string. And then you're gonna fret on the fifth fret, you're gonna fret the B string and the G string. And I use pinky on the B and ring finger on the G. And you're gonna pluck the, the B string and the open A string. So let me put that, let me put some context behind it. And then you're going to play G string with the same, the same thing fretted up here. You're going to play G, B, you're going to pluck the I, high E string, but you're going to fret the second fret right here on the high E, and you're going to pull it off. So right from the top of that little part after the run, so B and A string, G, B, pull off, and then B, G, open A, and then right back up the same thing, G, B, E. Once you get that mastered, it kind of ends in a, like, in a staccato fashion. It sounds kind of like, and then the strings get muted because you're going to play, you're going to pluck A and B, G, and E strings all together, and you're going to stop the, don't worry about that yet, but eventually you're going to, those, those three notes, or those four notes sound really staccato. Okay, so what that part is, is like I said, you're playing A, G, B, and E strings all together. You play it open, open A string. Then you fret the second fret, then you fret the third fret on your A string. Okay, so let's give let's give some more context, that helps. So after we slide down. I would consider that kind of a part to digest. Once you get to there, then moving on to the next part. So after you do the little run on the high E string. Okay, so hopefully you got that part down. Now, right after that, uh, the tempo speeds up a little bit on the right hand. It's, uh, I'll give you a quick uh, demo of what it sounds like. So, now what you're fretting here is just the A string and the two, the two B and G in the fifth fret, just like before. And you're in the third fret on the A string. So, just that, and everything else is open. We only have B, G, and A strings fret it down, everything else is open. This isn't a bar chord, just the A string. So, you're gonna play A, G, B, G. A, G, B, G strings. And right after that, you're gonna lift this, your pointer up, you're gonna come down to the third fret, and you're gonna pull out, uh, Pluck the note and pull off. Like so. So again, right from, from that note after. A, G, B, G. And then you're gonna pull off the high E in the third fret. And then B string, G string. that little part down. Okay, then the next part will be, you're gonna grab that whole chord again. Well, not really chord, it's just, you're fretting three things, just the A string here, 
and then B and G in the fifth fret. You're gonna grab that whole chord again and you're gonna move it up one whole step. Pretty much like that. And it kind of retains the same tempo on, on these notes here. But you're going to, right after that, you're gonna play your bass note again, which is your A string on the fifth fret. Same pattern as on the last, on this last hold right here. Move it up and you play A, G, B, G. And the next thing you're going to do is play the open E again, but you're going to hammer on pull off. There's a couple schools of thought. I've seen people do this different ways. I do it like this. I keep those notes down the whole time and I hammer on pull off. And then I use my pinky right here as I'm still fretting this note, to pull off. You know what, it's probably easier to teach you without, my, without that fretted, so here's how it works. G, B, G, then you're gonna play high E, hammer on pull off, and then you're gonna fret the seventh fret B string, pull it off once, and then you're gonna play open B string and hammer onto the, the B string at the fifth fret. So that last little tricky part is you're gonna play open, open low high E string, hammer on pull off the fifth, and then you're gonna fret the seventh fret on the B string, do a pull off, and then you're gonna play open and hammer onto the fifth fret on the B string. So it can be done just like this. Either way, whatever's, whatever's more comfortable for you. Yeah. And then you're gonna play an open E string, and then you're gonna come grab these harmonics at the 12th fret. G, B, and E strings, and then back down them, B, G, then you're going to kind of roll back into like what the intro of the song was. That's pretty much all I'm going to do in this one right here. If you want more lessons for the song, the, the next parts, like... Go ahead and leave me comments and ask for it, and I'll go ahead and do some videos. Um, so again, if you like what you saw and this helped you out, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more. Thanks.